boys review. And before we do that in Lamont Tyson fashion, I got to show y'all a clip of what went down on episode four. And man, it was a doozy. Take a look. I mean, this constant need to be loved by everyone is kind of pathetic, but um, yay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that that interaction between those two had some iconic lines in it. That was probably the the apex of that episode. Her basically lapping Homelander mentally. Now, earlier in this episode, the he the the well, I'm gonna call the the boys the heroes. Okay, we know the superheroes are bad. They're basically just Hired guns working for an organization. For a pharmaceutical company. Pharmaceutical company. Now, earlier in the episode, you had um, Mother Milk, <laughs> Huey, and Starlight looking for a hero, information on a hero from North Carolina. And they go on this trip, and they're looking for this person right here. Liberty. Hero named Liberty. Now, for my old school heads, when those three wind up at the home in North Carolina, guess who shows up at the door? A black lady. And ladies and gentlemen, that was the homegirl, Don Lewis from a different world. Y'all remember her name as Jalisa. And as they get into the story, they're thinking that this person, they want to get information on Liberty, right? And Vaught had paid off Don Lewis's character to shut the hell up because 48 years ago, she had an encounter with this quote unquote Liberty person. Right. And the Liberty person killed her brother in cold blood. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, horrible. guess who, guess who Liberty was? Liberty was none other than damn Stormfront. She, her ass was racist 48 years ago. She's racist right now. That's why I said she's like Roger Stone, a throwback of racism that has been morphed into the 20th century. Larry, talk about Liberty, talk about Stormfront and how she whipped Homelander. Well, I'll tell you that the thing that I'm finding most interesting about all of this and where I want to see it, where it goes is that Liberty apparently has done something to herself. She's, she's either had a connection Maybe she's found a way to work with this compound B. Something has been going on because she's been alive for a very long time where people thought she should be dead, but she's not. 48 years. And, and on top of that, on top of all of that, she's now back. And, and if you remember when they when when they were given this, uh when they were given this uh this that pullout from the magazine with Liberty in there, they said, oh. Who is she? Oh, she was some. She was basically a, a, a second tier soup back in the day. She wasn't anything special. She was like a second tier to soup. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden she's like just as strong as Homelander. So it's like, what did it she might, do to herself? What did it, she do? Oh, Where did she get some help from? How did all of a sudden did she go from just being a second tier soup back in the day to now all mm -hmm. of a sudden she's like, you know, maybe one of the strongest, if not the strongest soup out there. So right. to me, that's where I find... <clears throat> a really a really interesting story with this and you know the rest of it all the i mean all the white supremacist crap and all that stuff i mean she's she's horrible and she's gonna have to be killed and i think that they're gonna have to have as much as we want to hate homelander they're gonna try and make us like him by having us by telling us about his background making us sympathize with him a bit and then he's gonna take up the cause to kill you know, to probably go after and kill Stormfront, which we're all going to want to see happen because she's going to turn out to be a horrible racist person. And so we're going to end up being forced to sort of like Homelander, you know, in his in his pursuit of of, of justice. Well, so. here's the thing. She's already proven that she doesn't have to use her powers to defeat Homelander in that exchange they had when he came in her room. She basically was able to manipulate him mentally by basically saying, you over here wasting $270 million <laughs> to support and have followers and fans when I go and pay a couple of guys some, basically the equivalent of Starbucks gift cards 
and they go get on the computer and blog on my behalf and give me followers. And yeah, she said she what she said, she said, You have fans, I have an army. Exactly. That was the yeah. line of the episode. And yeah. when you think about that, ladies and gentlemen, correlate that to Donald Trump. For real. When you legitimately have an authoritarian person when your fans are willing to die for you, but you ain't willing to die for your fans, quote unquote. And I think that's how they're trying to make Homelander sympathetic. However, as Larry said, she's got these powers and she's whatever her powers are have kept her from aging. Now, I wonder if they gave her a different kind of compound V that not only keeps her from aging, Larry, but the older she becomes, the more powerful she becomes, too. Because, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, she is not afraid of Homelander at all. And she yeah. knows what Homelander can do. And when you break down what she's able to do, she is basically like Thor without the hammer. But right. the thing is, Homelander, even though he's in the body of a grown man, he has the mentality of someone who's 13. He needs yeah. to be loved. He's drinking milk. And that was actually a scene in this thing, ladies and gentlemen, where he has paid a shapeshifter to be the lady he killed last season. And when I was looking, I was like, damn, that lady's supposed to be dead. Yeah. She's supposed to be dead. And then eventually the shapeshifter started having bubble guts and had to turn into his normal shape. And he was ugly as hell. Looked like Danny DeVito. Yeah. And Homelander screamed at him. Homelander was like, turn back into whoever her name was. And he turned right, back. Madeline. Madeline. And eventually, after Homelander had his talk with Stormfront, Stormfront got up in that ass mentally. He goes to the shapeshifter and it tells the shapeshifter he doesn't need anyone but himself. So then the shapeshifter decides, I'm going to shapeshift into you, Homelander, and give you some head. And what did Homelander little childish pompous ass do? Snap this neck. Talk about it, Larry. We really went into the psyche of Homelander this episode. <laughs> I mean, that was just, that whole, ep that thing was just crazy when dude, I forgot dude's name. I was trying to look him up to find out what his character's name was. The Shapeshifter? Yeah. Oh, I had it written down and I forgot to, but go on with your point though. Why are you I looking just, for it? You know, I mean, that whole scene was just weird and creepy where the dude turned into Homelander and then came over there and was like, he was talking about going down and he was like, and it's not gay because it's you. <laughs> and I was like, that's, I was like, this whole thing is just weird. And then he snapped dude's neck and I, I felt bad for him snapping dude's neck. I was like, look, I man, you could just. You could have just taken the dude and threw him outside and told him to be gone, or you could have left. But I mean, you didn't have to kill him, no. and, I, and that's and that's part of the that's part of the problem with Homelander and 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 the other soups that we see is that they just don't have any real regard for human life. It's mm -hmm. like they, mm -hmm. it's 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 a lot of ways like you would see a kid back in the day you see a kid that would step on a bug and squash it because it's in the way or they would take a you know they would see a a spider and instead of taking the spider and putting it outside they just smack it with a with a newspaper and kill it there's no need to but they do it anyways and it's he just has no he has no regard for life and zero mm -mm. yeah do, do you remember the scene when he was about to kill star starlight but she right. was able to prove to him that she wasn't lying. Right. And, and, and I don't know how he fell for that, but he fell for it. Well, she was actually telling the truth at the time. It's she just was. that she was. She wouldn't she wouldn't be able to tell that truth now because she had well, she could technically, because you know, they did go on that trip and then they broke up and she said, I'm not, you know, we can't do this anymore or whatever. So she still keeps enough of a distance that she can tell the truth. And if she's smart enough to say the right things in the right way, she can still tell the truth. Exactly. But now, oh, go, go ahead. They need to, people need to figure out what to do about Homelander because not only is he, is he powerful, but he's proven to be extraordinarily dangerous where he's just, he's not even just dangerous, he's reckless. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, it's the same with a lot of those, a lot of them. It's not all of them. I mean, what's her name seems to be fairly responsible with her powers. Um, Queen Maeve. Queen Maeve. And and Starlight seems to be responsible. You know, we we know that we know that uh, what's his name isn't that uh, I Black Noir. 
Black uh, Mariah. What's, what's the fast dude? A Train. A Train. We know A Train's not because that whole series started off in the first season with him busting through that woman and and basically exploding her. Well, you know, well Larry, with, uh, think 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 about that though. Think about Vought has been doing that and trying to pay people off all these years because they did the same thing with Liberty. And, right. And they ain't going to give the family $2,000 for the boy's life. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't give a damn if it was 1978. $2,000 ain't a lot of money for somebody's life. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Man. No, not at and, all. And then you had the, the you you had the other storyline that was going on in this thing with Homelander and Queen Maeve. They're supposed to be having a relationship. And Queen Maeve has honestly thought she's been hiding some of these things from Homelander. Because keep in mind, she had a boy toy. Homelander killed him. And right. she's got that girlfriend in the hospital that she's been whispering on the phone. And she got to know Homelander's got supersonic hearing. He can hear right. anything. He reveals on national TV when they question him about why do they not have any diversity in, in the seven, he's going to actually say that Queen Maeve is gay. And she didn't know that he knew this, nor did she know that he knew about her friend in the hospital. All and right. now she's probably definitely afraid, ladies and gentlemen, because Homelander has been destroying anyone she tried to have a relationship with, even though in this episode, he pretended as though he's rooting for them. No, he's right. not. And on top of that, he on that same on that, in that same scene, he tells the people that well, we have A Train that's part of our team. After he just literally just fired, fired A Train, fired. he just told them fired. you're no longer going to be a part of the seven. And they're up there saying you have A Train. Well, you don't have A Train. So and did, did did you hear what he said about Black Noir? <laughs> yeah, he said, well, he's something. I guess he covers all of them. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> the he, he, he went, ladies and gentlemen, he went Larry on it. He said he's black, he's Puerto Rican, he's got a little Hispanic in him. He went Larry <laughs> on it. So he represents like 10 different ethnicities, is what a what a homelander tried oh. to say about the black and the wire. Don't act like everything doesn't originate from Mother Africa. Hey, okay, you know? I'm, I'm with that. And <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Huey. Finally got a chance to smack them panty draws of Starlight. Yeah. And now both of their noses is wide open. Right. And Starlight left him and she said, Huey, we can't do this. But you Which know. Means we're going to do it again very soon. Thank you. Moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. We also got to talk about the deep and him being caught up with this Scientology cult. Now Ooh. they're trying to reform him. Because Homelander basically done kicked him out the seven. And what mm. Deep don't know, Homelander, they're not planning on letting him get back in. But the Deep thinks that if he can change his image, he's going to get in. So they're interviewing all these women that they're just going to pair the Deep up with so that he can look like he has a religious relationship, change his image. And then that one chick that was a hottie that was a freak, he wanted her. And what did the lady tell him, Larry? <laughs> she, she oh, said, oh. "She was like, hell no, you're not gonna get her. You have yeah. to have this other chick that looks homely a little bit, looks really, really right. American, and all that shit." <laughs> and he and was he said, disappointed. No, he wanted her. And he said, "I thought it was my choice." She said, "She said you do get to choose. You get to choose her." <laughs> 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 all right. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing we're gonna cover on the boys episode four because it was a lot to take in it was very entertaining episode it was. we learn more about butcher and becca's background now keep in mind butcher was chasing homelander before he got involved with becca becca reveals in this episode that the way she got pregnant with her kid is homelander raped her and she held that information from Butcher. Now, first of all, Butcher, by hook or crook, got into this compound where they're holding Becca and, and the little boy. I personally felt like they let him get in there. And at the end of the story, you probably see why I felt like they let him get in there. I'm going to save that for y'all that ain't seen it. But Larry, 
expand on did you feel like you learned a little bit more or did you feel like there was more gas poured on the butcher i got to kill homelander story when you find out becca was raped by homelander and keep in mind butcher was trying to take becca away and leave the little boy and right. she ain't having that she wasn't having right mm -hmm. yeah i mean i knew i knew things weren't going weren't gonna go his way because I mean, even even though the child came as a product of rape, it's still her child. Mm -hmm. And she apparently still loves him. I mean, she loves him to the point that she's willing to face down Homelander, who can just snap her with, with the flick of his wrist. And No, he and can't. Willing... No, he can't, because that son, that's, obviously the son is going to be more powerful than Homelander. And well, if, I'm not and, saying and, and, as a defender. I'm just saying if he wanted to, he could just walk up to her and break her in half. Now there might be consequences, but consequences. he can't do it. He can't do it because in his mind, remember how she was able to get him not to kill Butcher. She had to tell Homelander that if you kill Butcher, I'm going to tell your son that we're separated and you harmed me. Remember that, and that right. kept Homelander from touching Butcher or her. So for whatever the reason, Homelander has some kind of attachment to that son that he's not going to do nothing to the mom at all. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with it. I thought it was, I thought it was, um, you know, I thought it was interesting the way they, that, that conversation went down where she was saying, no, I can't go with you because you would basically try and get rid of, you know, try and get rid of my son shortly after we were gone. Mm -hmm. And he didn't really deny it. He said, no, nah, you know, I, I accept him. He's from, you know, but it wasn't convincing at all. And she, I think she truly realized, yeah, if I go with him, my son's going to end up being, you know, he, I don't know what's going to happen with him, but he's the, but, but butcher will get rid of him one way or the other. Right. And so, right. you know, I, I understand why she did what she did. And I think butcher I think Butcher now that he's no now that he knows that Homeland raped her, Homelander raped her, I think he's probably gonna have just a whole new fire and fury underneath him. The only thing that I think may happen is I think there might be a little bit of conflict between him wanting to kill Homelander and maybe him needing Homelander alive when he realizes that Stormfront is way worse than Homelander. Well, I can agree with that. And because this season so we got four episodes. I can easily see somehow or another um, Becca and Butcher getting back together and Butcher raising that son as his own and the son coming up with those same powers and being more powerful, having to be like the first, well, not the first, but a good superpower person to help beat up Homelander, to help beat up Stormfront and to kind of maybe start a new revolution where Starlight joins. Maeve mm. is leaving the Seven, Larry. I'm telling you right now, she's either going to get killed or she's leaving. And I also think that Black Noir is going to get his ass killed too. Because you, you saw, so? yeah, you saw what you saw who he's about to go after at the end of this uh, episode. I'm not you know? convinced. I'm not convinced he's going after Butcher to hurt him. You don't think so? I don't think so. I don't get that vibe from him. I think he wants to find him. But I don't think he's trying to kill him. I think he okay. might have some. I think he might know something. Maybe he wants to work with Butcher. I think there might be something more there. I wouldn't at all be surprised if we see sort of an alliance between, you know, Black Noir and 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 Queen Maeve. You know, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a couple of these soups actually teaming up together. I'm you know, telling you, it's gonna happen because. Homelander and Stormfront apparently are powerful enough to take on everybody else. But remember, Maeve has the powers of Wonder Woman. But, right. but if, if Stormfront is more powerful than Homelander who has Superman powers, that's not going to do much for Wonder Woman. I mean, I'm just telling well, you that right now. Well, no, because in the comics, I mean, Wonder Woman was, was just as powerful, if not more powerful than Superman. Nope. 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 She was she a would, god killer. When, when, when they when they always got down to the nitty gritty, she get her ass beat. I mean, there was there are several comments where she got her ass beat to death by Dark Side, and who comes in to save the day? Superman. 
<laughs> there's another one where she got her ass beat by another Superman villain, and Superman and Batman had to come in to save the day. She's not as powerful as Superman. Nope, 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 nope. Well, we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. I mean, it, it, that's why we may see a team up between a few of them. Maybe, it, maybe exactly. it'll be like Black New, uh, Noir and, and Queen Maeve and Starlight. It might be that we see those three. And I and I think that we'll probably see, we'll probably, if, if it's going to be Huey that takes the stuff, then we'll see him take it, the, the Compound V, probably in the last episode. We'll probably see him take it during that last episode. And I don't know if we'll get to see him with any powers or if it'll just be that he, you know, maybe Starlight's in trouble or something. And so he takes it as, a, as trying to get powerful so he can get help, so he can go help her. And then maybe that's where they cut the season. That's what I would have yeah. done. I would have left that to the end of the season, had him take it, cut it right there. And then you can pick up in the, in the, in the third season with him now having powers and rescuing Starlight and all that. But I think that's where the season's probably going to end. I got you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll put a pin in it there.